Mom says cable bills and satellite bills are way too high. Why pay high cable and satellite bills? Nobody likes them. Why not watch NCTV 45 on Wi-Fi or anywhere there's internet? We have local programming. Give Mangina Outside Services a call when you want a yard project done and done right. Bud Mangina is the owner, and he and his staff will do just about any yard project, and he also does hauling of your trash and unwanted items. Mangina Outside Services covers the greater Newcastle area with very affordable prices. Tell Bud you heard this message on NCTV45, and you'll receive a 10% discount. Call 724-614-3658. That's 724-614-3658. We have a great relationship with Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors in downtown Newcastle at 210 East Washington Street. And whenever you watch Focus NC, my wardrobe is furnished by Main Street Clothiers and Custom Tailors. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle for fine gifts and more. Flowers, 120 East Washington Street, Newcastle, with a wide variety of flowers for any occasion. Call Butts Flowers, 724-652-7727, or toll-free from anywhere, 1-800-443-7726. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle. Bill's Bake Shop will make you happy. Bill Cast is the owner, and he and his staff keep the tradition going with all those bakery items that you remember as a kid. Just to name a few items, Bill makes cream sticks, cinnamon rolls, bear claws, cream horns, cannoli, cakes, pies, cookies, bread, pizza, and so much more. Bill's Bake Shop, located at 228 North Liberty Street in the Mahoning Town section of Newcastle, is open Tuesday through Saturday, 7 to 5, and Sunday, 7 to 2, closed on Monday. Bills, where smiles are everywhere. Call 724-654-4223. Hey guys, welcome to Cook in the Castle. Now, last week, everybody had their barbecues and picnics, and it was a 4th of July. That was great. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. Everybody needs a little bit different meal, so we're going to do stuffed pork chops. You're going to love it. And what we're going to do is we're going to do them in our crock pot because it's still very warm outside. We'll light that oven in the fall. Now, let's take a look at our ingredients. What we're going to use of course, always, is our slow cooker bags. We don't want to forget those. Poultry seasoning. A little garlic powder. Some pepper. Some paprika to dress it up at the end. A cream soup, whatever you like. Cream of chicken, cream of mushroom. And our cubed bread for our stuffing. And of course, our crock pot and our pork chops. Now let's take a look on how we're going to layer those inside our crock pot. Now the first thing we're going to do, you're looking at our crock pot, and I understand it looks totally black. The first thing we're going to do is put on or inside our crock pot our nice crock pot oven bag. This will keep it nice and clean and it will be a no muss, no fuss cleanup, and it will help us. Now, I have two kinds of pork chops. I have a thicker pork chop and a thin pork chop. I'm going to put the thicker ones on the bottom of the crock pot. They take longer to cook. They're partly frozen. Okay. And this is going to be more of a casserole than actually stuffed pork chops, you know, the way you'd make them in the oven. So, let's layer our pork chops accordingly and give ourselves some room on this bottom 
to get as many in as possible. Remember, a crock pot keeps moisture in. So, we're not going to use a lot of water when we do this, per se, because we don't want to end up with stuff that you can paper a wall with. Now there, our crock, our crock pot on the bottom is lined with thick pork chops. And now we're going to use our seasoning. I like to add a little black pepper. A little poultry seasoning because we're gonna we're gonna want to get this the whole way through. Not coming out real good there. There we go. Little poultry seasoning and a little garlic powder. Now, the reason I didn't put any salt in was because in our soup, there's going to be some sodium in there already. So people can always add salt to taste. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cover that with our breadcrumb. Also, this breadcrumb is kind of moist because they really don't cube bread, and I said breadcrumb, forgive me. They really don't cube it in the summer. So, when I went to the market, it was cubed fresh. Now, don't be afraid to push down on it, okay, because it's going to absorb quite a bit of the liquid. We're not going to add a lot of water when we add our soups, so just keep that in mind. Now, let's go and get our soup. Now that we got our breadcrumbs in, what we're going to do is we're going to add our soup. It, it'll come out kind of solid, but that's okay. We'll put the can over here. And we're going to add another. I like two cans, okay, because it will um, thicken and bond with the bread nicely. Now, in there, we're going to add and I already chopped with my handy dandy chopper some onions and some parsley. I used the big chop for it because you don't want to have itty bitty pieces lying all over and we'll add that in right there. Make a nice little layer. Now we are going to add some water but only after we add our seasoning that way it'll kind of wash through the mixture. It'll also soften the bread and kind of smush it down. Okay so Here's our black pepper. Here's a little garlic powder. Here's a little
seasoning, poultry seasoning. And now, what I like to do is use the cans so that we can put the water in the can and stir it around to get any remaining parts of soup in. Now I'm only going to use I'm only going to use two parts water, two soup cans. So when I stir it around I'll pour it down in there. That's one can. And here is the second can. Now make sure when you pour it in there, you stir it around or you miss the whole point. Stir it around takes all the soup that's maybe stuck if you didn't get it out exactly well. Now we got the soup in. We got the water and the celery and olives in. Now here's a little trick that I like. Give it just a little added flavor. I like to throw in a little bit of butter. throughout the, the mixture. That gives it a nice even coat of flavor. Now we're going to put some more breadcrumbs on top and push down on two parts. You'll tip your pot. breadcrumbs are kind of on top. We're going to see if we can get everything in because as this cooks it will condense down quite a bit. So there. All our breadcrumbs are on top and now what we'll do is we'll top it with our pork chops. Now we seasoned our breadcrumb that we topped in there. Our soup is in the middles and now we're going to top, put on the top our thinner style pork chops so that it, it gets a nice golden brown and gives you an idea of a pork chop casserole something a little winter dish that something different in the summer because you always need you get tired I was going to do barbecued pork chops or something like that but I thought you guys needed a, a, a little dish that was going to be a little bit different stick to your ribs type thing and this is great you could take this on a picnic also because once you cook it in a crock pot Okay, you're in good shape. Now there, we've, we've layered our casserole. Our pork is in there. We've added our water. And as this cooks, Okay, it will definitely settle down. Okay, now we don't want to forget to add our seasonings.
Here's a little garlic powder. And last but not least, some pepper and some oregano, or paprika, excuse me, just to give it a little look. There you go. There's our stuffed pork chops. Now we'll see you in four to six. And there you go. Six hours later, nice and cool. But nice and warm, we have a stuffed pork chop with homemade mashed potatoes. Just a little bit different after that 4th of July when everybody needs one of those good meals rather than something on the grill and barbecued. Stay cool, stay in the air conditioning, and it's like I told you, you're going to love it. Thanks. This has been Cooking the Castle. And I'm Angelo Parada. Have a great day. The Crane Room for your lunch and dinner rendezvous. You'll enjoy their pleasant atmosphere. The Crane Room takes pride in their wide variety menu. Appetizers, sandwiches, soups, salads, entrees, pasta, and the best burgers in town. Newcastle's best selection of domestic, import, and craft beers from around the world. And the Crane Room features a 35-tap draft system. Ask about their daily specials that will please you every time. The Crane Room is located at 3009 Wilmington Road in Neshannock Township. Call 724-656-1553. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle for fine gifts and more. Butts Flowers, 120 East Washington Street, Newcastle, with a wide variety of flowers for any occasion. Call Butts Flowers, 724-652-7727, or toll free from anywhere, 1-800-443-7726. It's Butts Flowers in downtown Newcastle. We're with Sammer from Mary's Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Sammer, how are you today? Very good, thank you. That's great. Can you tell us what kind of food you have at your restaurant? I have lots of good food. And I have chicken over rice, kidney, gravy, lemon rot, chicken rot. All healthy food, no worry about that. Sounds great. Thank Middle you. Eastern food. And you're on Long Avenue in Newcastle. Thank you. Open from? Six day a week. Six day a week. From uh, 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock to 10 o'clock night. 11 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Okay. We'll see everybody at Mary's Restaurant in downtown Newcastle. This is NCTV 45. You can watch us anytime on your time. Hi, I'm Gary West on location at Little Johnny's 2 in downtown Newcastle, right on East Washington Street. I'm here with the, the owner, Chris Quiera. Chris, you got a great place. You've been here how long now? We've been downtown coming on four years now, but Little Johnny's has been around for over 15 years. When you walk into your restaurant, right away you see a lot of spaciousness, it's clean atmosphere, and, and on every table I notice you have your menu, and that's what impresses me most about Little Johnny's. It's not just delicious pizza. He has a, a huge variety. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, that's very true. We do. We have dining for about 50, so you can come in, you can sit down, you can eat. But say you're on the go, we do delivery and takeout as well. And not just pizza. Like you, like you mentioned, we do flatbreads, we do wings, we do trombolis, calzones, hoagies, salads. So it runs the gauntlet. You have Whatever soup you need too, to eat, right? We do. We have homemade uh, wedding soup, homemade stuffed pepper soup. So whatever your needs are, we can do it for dining, delivery, or takeout. And they have great pricing. They have a lot of beverages as well. You're going to love Little Johnny's Pizza because they've been around a long time and they know what they're doing. So stop by and what's the contact information, Chris? 
Little Johnny's 2, located at 130 East Washington Street. Give us a call or stop in, 724-657-2210. Be looking for us on the road again and see TV45. Make it Lanigan's Irish Pub, where you'll be amazed with the weekly specials. Pub grub, salads, burgers, sandwiches, Irish specialties, and desserts. Lanigan's has a full bar featuring domestic, craft, and Irish draft beer. You can also book a party at Lanigan's at 126 East Washington Street in downtown Newcastle. As they say at Lanigan's Irish Pub, the best Irish food since Ireland. Call 724-657-3444.